Alhamdulillahilladzi hadana li hadza wa ma kunna linahtadiya lawla an hadana Allah was salatu was salam ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin sayyidina wa uswatina wa muallimina wa nabiyyina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsan ila yawmiddin subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma 'allamtana innaka antal alimul hakim wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-aliyyil azim alhamdulillah thumma alhamdulillah i express my gratitude and thankfulness to the almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it is by his grace and by his blessings that i'm able to be with you this afternoon to share with you some of my thoughts about the kulliya and i must um, thank um, the organizers in particular dr Aznam for um, inviting me uh, to this event uh, in preparation for the 20th anniversary of uh, KICT. Uh, in terms of uh, age, you are among the youngest, if not the youngest, kulia uh, to be established in the. Um, in uh, in IUM although education came later but education was established earlier as a department uh, in the uh, kulia of islamic review knowledge and then uh, it was we wanted it to be um, a kulia but the ministry was a bit hesitant so we waited until we had a new minister and then uh, we got the status of um, kulia for education so but education was there uh, before that uh, whereas in your case um, there was no um, department of of ICT as such although there was uh, in the uh, in in uh, kulia of economics um, uh, it was supposed to be part of economics and then of course there was also department for um, uh for library science uh which was supposed to develop on its own uh but uh, then and and uh, the kulia was not envisaged as part of the of the original plan of the university in the original plan which was uh, uh formulated by uh dr arifin suhaimi uh with my input in it and also that to abdul hamid uh, othman um in that original plan we we had medicine we had engineering there was no islamic studies uh, to to tell you because i was against having a, a, a faculty of islamic studies um and uh, and there was no uh, faculty or kulia of ict because in 1982 when we were planning for this um ICT, ICT was not yet, uh, you know, um, blooming. Although you know it was already um, uh, being planned by people, but it was not yet uh, coming into being uh, uh, as as a big bang, as it were. Of course, now we have a revolution in in ICT. So um, now, uh, Dr. Abdul Hamid uh, left uh, at the end of 1999. then after i came back from the states i had to assume the responsibility of acting rector abdul hamid dr abdul hamid al marghoum appointed me as acting rector before uh, just before he left uh, it was a sad day for for the university uh, but anyway uh, but alhamdulillah he came back later on when things changed and uh, he continued to uh, to to contribute and that was also and i suggested that the the university should should confer upon him uh this emeritus professor and before that datuship alhamdulillah he got all that so um 
although he left with a heavy heart, but then that was all uh, cured after things changed and he came back and our university with Gomba expanding and growing very fast, all that made him very, very happy with our university. So it was, uh, it was his brainchild uh, to make it a, a big university and, and he saw it. Uh, and I think last three months when, or last two months when we had a special uh, event for him with uh, Muna being the spokesperson for the family. So Muna related to him what we all said and he was very, very happy to hear what we all said. Of course, he was very sick, so he could not respond. Anyway, uh, so uh, at that time, uh, we in the top management, we saw that uh, we, force, we could foresee that ICT was big, going to be another big bang, another singularity uh, for world history, uh, which will change uh, the future of, of uh, how we communicate, how we get knowledge, uh, and so on. Uh, for information technology was, uh, you know, the, the, the new Big Bang. Uh, and that we saw that was coming. So we thought we might as well have a kuliah, uh, which will um, uh, take care of, of uh, different branches of, of this uh, new uh, branch of knowledge uh, that was dawning upon mankind. Um, so uh, we had the, the Department of uh, uh, Library Science and, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Library Science and also the Department of Communication in, in, uh, in, in Economics. So we thought, why not uh, we start uh, the Kulia by uh, merging the two uh, into one and, uh, and, and uh, creating others later on uh, to grow. Uh, one of the main uh, motivations uh, for this establishment was um, uh, the fact that uh, information, um, just like uh, science and technology, if they are not uh, uh, tied to faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if they are not based upon iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then they can develop into uh, a creature of its own uh, without acknowledging God. And so you have uh, first science and, and uh, technology um, from the secular worldview developing into a, a, a great um, body of knowledge with a lot of beneficial things, no doubt, including this uh, computer, uh, but it is not rooted uh, in faith. So knowledge did not become a means of knowing God, but it is a means of knowing all uh, the creation of God, uh, but, uh, but God himself uh, is not um, uh, known, is not studied, is not uh, let alone to serve him. So we thought if, if information technology uh, is not tied to faith, to tawheed, then is going to go the same way as, un, as other uh, engineering technologies. Uh, you might be able to take a man uh, to the moon or to Mars, um, but, uh, but uh, you are not taking him to closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of Mars, the creator of the moon, and even later on, if you can go to the stars, the creator of the stars, so it would be a great tragedy, um, which Allah has already, um, in a way, forewarned in his uh, uh, in Surah Al-Alaq, uh, when Allah says uh, after the fifth ayat, "Kalla inna al-insana la yatqa al-ra'ahu staghna inna ila Rabbika ruja'a." So, "Kalla uh, um, nay." human beings are bound to uh, transgress the limits. If you just go by your knowledge alone, then you're going to transgress the limits. Uh, and, and Allah says, inna ila rabbika ruja'a, your ultimate return, don't forget, your ultimate return is to Allah. So similarly with, with information technology, 
um, if we, it is not uh, based on uh, Tawheed, uh, then it can lead to all kinds of, of communication, uh, ignoring uh, the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and now you have, you have all kind of weird things, which I'm going to take up in the, in the last part of my talk uh, with the trans, uh, transhumanism. Uh, as one of the one of the future uh, developments of uh, of um, uh, ICT, and also with the ideas of um, of of Yuval uh, Noah uh, Harari, with his idea of uh, uh, Homo Deus, uh, the the God Man, man becoming God, uh, to replace the real God. Uh, and this have implications on ICT. Uh, so similarly, uh, uh, transhumanism has uh, implications on ICT. So I'm going to uh, address that, and I am also going to to end it with with uh, vision, preparing for vision uh, for the next century, uh, 16th century Hijriya, uh, which will come, inshallah, um, during the time of our children. Uh, in the November, November 28, 2076. Uh, inshallah, uh, those of you who live long enough uh, will be able to welcome the 16th century Hijriya, uh, which we'll hope is not going to be a repeat of the 15th century. Now we are 1443, another 57 years, we're going to be in the 16th century. So, for 43 years, the Muslim world has been suffering. Uh, and we don't want to blame other people. We want to blame ourselves because of our um, stupidity, because of our short-sightedness, because we don't follow the Quran. We just read, memorize, but don't really try to understand the, the, the message of the Quran and, and try to live and implement that message. So we thought the uh, ICT, developed in IIUM is not going to be the same as developed in, in secular universities without any reference to God, without any reference uh, to revelation. Uh, so that's why uh, we thought we have to start it. And Alhamdulillah, after nearly 20 years now, uh, I'm very happy to see uh, the development of KICT. Um, as you know, we did not really plan for it in, 92, uh, in 1982 with uh, Dr. Dr. Arifin Suhaimi, but, uh, but uh, without even planning it, now you've got a, a, a beautiful hill and then you have a beautiful building. Um, uh, unfortunately, Dr. Abdul Hamid was not there to plan for it, but then I think he came later and he saw it I'm not sure whether he did enter the building. Maybe he did not because he was busy with other things. Uh, but he was happy to know that we have our, our own KICT, uh, which is not going to, uh, to uh, duplicate or replicate or perpetuate uh, the visions of a secular KICT or secular ICT. Okay, so I um, want to thank, uh, for, of course, first, the first dean was uh, Dr. Muhammad Adam uh, Suhaimi. Uh, is he around? I'm not sure. Dr. Uh, he has retired for. He just recently retired. Oh, okay, 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 fine. So uh, it was his burden to, uh, you know, to develop uh, the, the kulia uh, at the initial stage. Uh, I have to thank, uh, of course, Prof. Fauzan uh, for providing that uh, the, the Islamic backbone uh, of, of the kulia. Uh, and that backbone is being uh, nourished uh, every week by the Ustra and uh, many other things. Alhamdulillah, uh, KICT is in fact leading in this uh, 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 Islamic uh, Islamicity and also religiosity. Of, of the kulia, alhamdulillah. And now, of course, we have uh, Prof. Uh, uh, Abdurrahman uh, uh, Ahlan, 
uh, heading the kulia. I hope, uh, inshallah, uh, he will be able to take the kulia uh, into the uh, greater future. Of course, with uh, more challenges because uh, uh, funding is a problem now. And because funding is a problem, you have many constraints in terms of trying to get uh, more staff or getting um, um, very experienced uh, professors. You, uh, you have to pay more, but uh, money somehow uh, is, is a problem right now. But inshallah, with uh, networking and uh, positioning ourselves, um, we could still uh, be able to achieve uh, greater things uh, for the kulia because um, I, I'm happy to know that our kulia is, is actually being referred to by many people uh, if, if not for the, uh, for the uh, let's say, computer engineering, because uh, that may not be our forte, because we, we are a, a late comer. Uh, other, other universities in the West started much, much earlier. Uh, and of course, uh, of university technology in, in Johor and others, uh, they are far ahead of us uh, in, in, in those areas. But in terms of... Uh, Islamicity and religiosity and integrating Islamic values uh, with, with ICT, I think we are ahead of, of, uh, of, of the herd in, in this regard. So that is something uh, great that uh, I would like to acknowledge. Um, I must thank also uh, all the other brothers and sisters and also the uh, um, the uh, graduates uh, like uh, Dr. Aznan himself uh, as an alumnus of uh, the Kulia now, you know, uh, playing a, a big role because uh, our graduates understand the mission and vision of the university and understanding the, vi the philosophy, the vision and mission is very crucial for the development of any Kulia in the university and in fact for the university itself. So those who do not know the history, do not know the philosophy, do not know the vision, and do not know the mission and objectives, then uh, it's very difficult for them to really contribute uh, because they might be uh, thinking this is just another, you know, another faculty like other faculties from other universities. So they might be thinking along the um, uh, conventional, way of thinking. Whereas the IIUM was established uh, based on the Islamic worldview, the Tawhidic worldview, um, and, and also the idea of uh, Islamization of, or Islamization of human knowledge. Now, these things need to be understood. Uh, and if you do not understand this, then I think uh, you might be indirectly betraying uh, the mission and the hope of the founders of the university, including Dr. Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman. Uh, so um, that is uh, my uh, introduction and also explaining uh, the reason why we had uh, to establish KICT. Basically, it is for the, for the Islamicization uh, mission of, of the university. Um, then I like to uh, to uh, say a few things about the the, the present the achievements uh, of uh, the kulia, uh, and then I will go to uh, some of our hopes and expectations, and I will end with this with the the, the challenge of transhumanism, the challenge of Homo Deus, and the challenge of the 16th century hegeria. Okay, let me, uh, let, on, the, on the present, uh, the achievements of the present, I must say you have done very well uh, with, with, with the constraints that, that you have, uh, with your, I mean, uh, your, um, your uh, priorities and your niche areas with the, with the departments, you're going into cyber security, brain computing, uh, fintech, blockchain, information retrieval, uh, data analytics, at, uh, artificial intelligence, and this is this is a big thing which uh, which uh, 
uh, Yuval Noah Harari thinks is going to really um, revolutionize uh, everything in the world and creating a new species of human beings with uh, artificial intelligence. Then software engineering, software quality assurance, information systems in organizations, and last but not least, ICT and Islam. And uh, we have to thank uh, Dr. Prof. Fauzan and uh, his good wife uh, for, for, as I say, strengthening this backbone of the Kulia. Um, now, um, on the on the um, on the achievements, I I would like to um, say that your graduates have also played a very important role in 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 spreading the mission by joining several organizations like Petronas, Microsoft, Sirim, Bank Nagara, Maybank, HSBC, Standard Chartered, Swift, Simdabi, TNB, Telecom, Cellcom, Maxis, Grab. Uh, what have you, you know, all this. And, and um, you might also have uh, some people uh, in Facebook in the Silicon Valley. Um, by the way, Silicon Valley people are very happy with, 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 uh, with Harari because he is actually saying, you know, the Silicon Valley people are going to go into uh, AI in a big way and and, and so Silicon Valley people are very happy with him. Um, now then the, your research uh, areas uh, have also taken into many, uh, you have 12 research units, which is, which is really wonderful for, for a young Kulia, you have 12 research units uh, covering several, several fields, uh, including, um, um, but I'm not sure if you have uh, any uh, unit on AI and robotics? Maybe if maybe engineering, cool of engineering, is is developing robotics. But I think you can work together with engineering and see how how you can come up with with an, with an Islamic robot which will greet you with assalamu alaikum and and can uh, recite Quran and hadith and 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 give some fatwas, you know. Uh, in the future. So an Islamic uh, robot, uh, I think, is something that our university can probably develop, inshallah, working with some other, um, some other institutions, even non-Muslim institutions, like some Japanese, because they are good in robotics. Uh, anyway, then uh, your, your research um, grants covering so many um, uh, projects, including the ILM Integrated Internationalization and Industrial Linkages Management System. Uh, these are all great uh, achievements. Having another, and then having two international journals, uh, one on perceptive and cognitive computing, the other one on information systems and digital technology. These are a great uh, um, uh, academic uh, achievements. Then your, uh, your KICT conferences, the ICT 4M, uh, that is also great. In a way, you are also implementing what uh, Tunku Azman has been, has been dreaming of how to make, how to, Tunku Azman uh, as an ICT, uh, uh, Bapa ICT lah in, in Malaysia, I would say, uh, was really hoping to, to make the Muslim world really big, go big on ICT. Uh, and then he wanted, um, uh, in fact, the ministry at that time uh, also go big on ICT, uh, but somehow he was very disappointed because uh, people at that time did not understand the future of ICT. But Tengku Azman already saw this is the way forward. And, and then Tengku Azman, uh, instead of teaching the, the Malay uh, elites, he has been teaching the Arab elites uh, in Saudi Arabia, uh, Anak Anak Raja Saudi Arabia, learning from Tengku Azman. Um, so maybe uh, in your celebration 20th, uh, you must get him to speak also. Uh, he may have some new insights as to how uh, the Muslim world uh, could, um, could, could be um, 
you know, some of the problems of the Muslim world could be solved through ICT, uh, inshallah, and, and maybe make, uh, make KICT the pioneer uh, in this regard. Uh, so you have already eight conferences, and the last one was uh, March uh, 2021, working together with, with, uh, with Kuantan. Uh, of course, my, my, my major interest is uh, the implementation of Islamicization uh, agenda in IIUM because uh, that should never be forgotten. It is uh, that we have seven missions of the university and two of them have to do with Islamization. So let's not forget Islamicization. Uh, while we talk of integration, we talk of blah, blah, blah. I see an article IT does not want to talk of Islamization anymore. Never mind, we understand if they are in England, if they are in America, uh, in the non Muslim world, we understand uh, the reason for not wanting to talk about Islamization. But in Malaysia, in Indonesia, Alhamdulillah, uh, Islamization, uh, the, the Islamic epistemology, uh, movement in Indonesia is, is very big. And don't be surprised, I think by 2030, Indonesia might overtake us uh, in this regard, in terms of how, uh, how, to, uh, how universities should actually be uh, using uh, Islamic epistemology as a basis of uh, knowledge construction. So I am really concerned about this, and I am happy that you are uh, leading uh, in this regard. Um, your, your research topics uh, cover um, studying ICT from Islamic perspective and how ICT applications can serve Islamic purposes. Uh, then you also uh, talk about you know, the, the dangers of the social media and how we can help to, uh, to make the social media more safe uh, and how to overcome cyber uh, addiction, uh, digital addiction, many other kinds of addiction, and also how, how to overcome cyber security. And we had, uh, for, for several years, we had uh, Prof. Rida leading in cyber security. Uh, he was trained by Tuku Azman before. Uh, and then the, now, of course, uh, we, we exported uh, <laughs> Prof. Rida to lead USIM. And I hope Usim is not going to overtake us in this. So please don't allow <laughs> our younger brother to overtake us, uh, although uh, they have uh, Prof. Rida. But well, okay, in terms of cyber security, they may be, uh, you know, they may be ahead because you have the, the, the Mahaguru there. But in other areas, uh, we can stand on our own feet and, and lead uh, in many other areas. Okay, then the, um, uh, yeah, your, your Islamic activities, uh, I have already mentioned your Usra um, has been, um, uh, you know, the mainstay for Islamization with uh, now 263 uh, times of Usra. I, nobody can beat this record in the university, 263. I think some, uh, some kulias uh, have problems even reaching 20 usras in the last 20 years. Uh, some, then you have tazkira every alternate Friday with the uh, tazkira on a shifa of Qadi Iyad. And now you have 141 times. Uh, so that's all great. Plus the reading of Hidayah to Salikin, and, and so on. Then uh, your, your Center for Excellence for Cybersecurity, I think this is uh, another great uh, achievement I'm very proud of. So um, then the, um, uh, you're also helping the Ministry of uh, Finance and also Ministry of uh, Health with your MyTrace application. Uh, and then you have also e-scroll, Cyber Sijatra, humanizing digital education, uh, and so on. So all these are wonderful uh, achievements. Of course, um, you have uh, 
the problem of funding and this is a constraint uh, to the kulia, but I hope you'll be able to overcome uh, these kind of, uh, uh, of challenges. Now I come to, um, let's say, our hopes and uh, expectations from Islamic uh, perspective. Um, I have, um, uh, let me see. Um, um, I've written somewhere, let me just um, go to it. Yeah, I, uh, okay. This was also part of our expectations when we started the Kulia, um, that our expectation uh, among others is to see ICT for spreading Islamic teaching. So ICT for da'wah. Uh, that's why now uh, in, in da'wah circles, they talk of techno da'i. Uh, so how do we make uh, ICT um, you know, a means for spreading Islamic teachings uh, uh, in the Muslim world and across the world uh, also. Um, and then the, the other one is, uh, of course, this is not just uh, the kulia. I think all ministries of education in the Muslim world should be thinking of how to, to uh, really exploit uh, the potential of ICT uh, for educating uh, the ummah. And now, of course, with the uh, pandemic, we are forced to to really use um, uh, online teaching um, in, in a big way. We never planned for this, but now it has come upon us. And I think this might be the, the new normal uh, for, for the future. Uh, and this of course has its advantages in terms of cost. So you're not going to build new buildings uh, and you're not going to bring down walls, uh, but you, you can use, uh, uh, the um, uh, the internet uh, for uh, for uh, this kind of teaching and even the um, among the uh, ustas or teaching in the um, uh, uh, jiqaf, uh, classes of jiqaf in in the masjids and so on now they are asking uh, the jabatan agama islam please teach us how to handle online teaching uh, and, and please uh, provide us uh, laptops and, and so on. So they know because uh, they cannot go uh, because of the lockdown and so on, they cannot see their students. So they, they are asking for this now. So we should be able to help our Ustad Ustad, the Kampong Kampong, uh, learn the, 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 the new way of learning uh, online um, uh, or home teaching homeschooling and so on. The other one is um, how to advance a digital economy. Again, this is Ministry of Education. So the e-commerce uh, and all that, uh, that was in, in our mind also, uh, because uh, we know that when, when the ministry talked about uh, knowledge economy and, and, the, and, and, and Malaysian government talked about knowledge economy is, is the new, uh, source of, of capital uh, from land and, and uh, money. And now it is knowledge economy. So again, ICT uh, is uh, one of our expectations as a means of, of advancing the digital economy. Now, uh, talking about the uh, SDGs, the sustainable development, one of the goals of SDGs is uh, uh, to have um, uh, sustainable cities uh, of the future. So how do we uh, develop cities uh, of the future? Now with ICT, um, uh, hopefully then the, 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 the uh, environmental planning and city planning uh, will, uh, will, will, will be very much also influenced, impacted uh, by ICT. And with the Islamic uh, content and approach and values, then uh, the city planning with ICT will also benefit from the Islamic perspectives. 
Um, ICT should also, for, for me, should also be a means of unifying the Ummah. The Ummah is very much uh, split up. And in Malaysia, it's even more split. Uh, from, from one party became two, from two became three, three now becomes five, and God knows how many more uh, parties the Muslims are going to split. And our number, we're just about 20 million people. Uh, with with five or six parties, Indonesia with 300 million people, with uh, with maybe 20 parties on more. So that to me is lacking the uh, maturity uh, of political thinking. Uh, so we hope with ICT we can also with Islamic perspectives we can spread the message faster. We don't have to see people face to face. We just you know share. Uh, with those people, with our brothers on the other side uh, of the divide, uh, to bring them back, uh, you know. So ICT could be the unifying factor if we have uh, Islamic content in it. Uh, also, ICT for the defense of Muslim countries. This is where 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 cyber security comes in. So uh, now, of course, one of the uh, uh, one of the means of warfare. Uh, is is uh, ICT um, and uh, and hacking of 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 countries' uh, resources is is going to be part of the game. So uh, you need to have hackers uh, who can defend uh, the country. Of course, there are Malaysian hackers hacking into into uh, Israeli uh, ministries and and banks. Uh, but uh, we have to also develop this uh, capability. Of defending Muslim countries um, through better uh, cyber security uh, strategies and measures. Um, then, the, um, uh, the, uh, the e uh, ecological uh, disaster is one threat that um, uh, we are facing. And um, so again, how do we make our, uh, how do we use ICT to spread Islamic consciousness, uh, to preserve the environment as, as a trust from Allah, as an amana from Allah? How do we utilize the, the, the consciousness of khilafah uh, through the ICT so that ICT will permeate uh, Muslim society and people become conscious of the environment as the responsibility of, uh, of, of Muslims uh, to, to preserve, to sustain. Uh, so, so green technology, green measures, uh, and green ICT uh, could be a way forward. Then um, I would like to now um, also take um, uh, uh, Dr. Aznan. I'm sorry, I'm going beyond the time. Is that okay with you? Yes, yes, no problem, Bob. It's okay. Uh, I want to uh, take now the last part, which is a challenge of transhumanism, the challenge from uh, Harari's Homo Deus, and the challenge of the 16th century uh, Hijra. Okay, all in one uh, in the next, say, 20 minutes or, or more. I hope you don't mind with that. Uh, so before, before Asara, inshallah. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, for trans um, uh, transhumanism, um, I think um, is is good if some some of you in the kulia could really um, study the the, the future uh, prospects of transhumanism affecting some Muslim countries, because uh, I see this as uh, as one of the way. For, uh, one of the uh, things developing in the West because of atheism, agnosticism, materialism, scientism, uh, then it, it can develop uh, in the West. But um, we have to make our young people understand that this is not the way forward uh, for, for us in, in the Muslim world. We have to understand the, the challenge. So how do we um, I hope uh, you have enough people also studying uh, the challenges of, of uh, post-humanism and 
transhumanism as two distinct uh, ideologies of the West and of the future. Um, let me see, um, okay. Um, yeah, uh, it is uh, also good to know that there's some people, I think the Catholic, the Vatican Church, uh, the, Vat the Catholic Church and the Vatican uh, are also alerted to the dangers of, of, uh, of transhumanism. And they have also uh, been critical uh, of transhumanism because they say transhumanism does not have any eternal truth and is not connected with the divine. Um, and uh, some people also objecting to the, to the goals of, uh, of transhumanism uh, and, uh, and the moral, uh, the, the, the lack of morality in transhumanism. Uh, uh, but uh, some Buddhists uh, are, are, are also going for transhumanism. And uh, bear in mind that um, uh, Harari, uh, developed uh, his ideas also with the help of a Buddhist uh, uh, guru, uh, Gonika, uh, I think S.N. Gonika, uh, an Indian guru who lived uh, in, 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 in Burma at that time, uh, developed this technique of meditation. So uh, Harari meditates two hours a day and uh, goes for a meditation retreat for about once a year, for two months, three months, four months, um, uh, following the, the Buddhist retreat. Uh, but of course, uh, he, he doesn't believe in God. Of course, he is a gay, um, and he calls uh, the man in charge, uh, the manager, as his husband. Uh, and, and, and still, uh, with, with that gay, uh, openly uh, confessing, being gay doesn't stop his 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 three books from, from becoming bestsellers uh, in the last uh, five years or more. So um, uh, so I think uh, we need to to read his first book, uh, *Sapiens*, which is uh, the hist uh, uh, looking into uh, human history, again from from uh, from you might say um, from. Uh, from uh, evolution, uh, a natural evolution perspective, not from divine perspective. And then his second book, Homo Deus, which also became a bestseller, that uh, this uh, human species uh, can develop to have God-like properties in the future. So he said God created, God of the Old Testament created the world created animals and created the uh, plants and all that. You see, we can go beyond that. We can create more things uh, than, than the, the God of the Old Testament. So human beings, uh, sapiens can become God-like God uh, in, the, in, the, in the near future. So how is this going to impact in the Muslim, uh, particularly among the young? Because some young people are influenced by, Muslims are influenced by this. And, and, and his books are being read. You know how many millions his books have, have sold? More than 20, I think 27 million copies. Imagine nearly, nearly the whole population of Malaysia reading his books. Uh, so um, he might not be addressing ICT directly, but his idea of, of uh, the interface between, between biology and, and technology uh, uh, resulting in, in new beings being created, uh, that has a bearing on ICT. So uh, how do we make our students aware uh, of this uh, new trends of, 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 of thinking? And then how do we make uh, them, uh, how do we um, give them the, uh, the means to uh, the intellectual tools uh, to counter those arguments put forward by uh, Harari and also the proponents of transhumanism. And then uh, now I want to, of course, um, Harari talks about 
the new kind of world in the next 50 years or 100 years. Or he says, well, the world has existed for the last 13 billion, 13.8 billion years. It can, it can exist for another 13 billion years. So he's not talking about akhirah. <laughs> so there's no akhirah for them. In fact, transhumanism uh, will be able to, to develop uh, immortality, that we can become immortal by, by, by uh, going, uh, by, by having uh, technology within us, uh, all those uh, biological, uh, biotechnical uh, sensors in the body, we can extend our life and become immortal. So, uh, so these are the uh, some of the you know imaginations uh, from the secular, uh, atheistic, agnostic perspective. Now, as Muslims, we have to tell our brothers, sisters, young children, there is Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. There is going to be Yawm Al Qiyamah. We are already in the Akhirul Zaman. So let's not try to uh, deceive ourselves. And Akhirul Zaman is a, a lot of fitna. Uh, and uh, how do we prepare for this Akhirul Zaman? Um, and but before the Akhirul Zaman, there is going to be, inshallah, the 16th century Hijrah. Because the 15th century Hijrah, uh, for nearly 50 years, uh, now 43 years, we have failed miserably because we did not plan. And so Allah gave me. Uh, the idea of developing a project for the Muslim Ummah in Malaysia to prepare for uh, 2076, 2077, so that uh, we will have uh, a, a, a better future. And that future is not something we're going to look in the books of the futurologists, Muslims or non-Muslim, Ziauddin Sardar or, uh, or what have you. Uh, we, we have that future already spelled out for us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah uh, 143. And thus we have made you, O Muslims, uh, Ummah Wasat. That is to say, Ummah that is just. Ummah that is excellent, Ummah that is really balanced and having equilibrium. Uh, so to do what? Shuhada ala nas to become witnesses for mankind, and then the Prophet will be a witness against us. So it's already spelled out. So Allah has saved us a great um, uh, intellectual energy, not to be wasted but to be focused on becoming shuhada ala nas. So how can ICT help the ummah becoming shuhada, at least in, in the uh, Islamicization of ICT, at least in the ethicalization of ICT, at least in becoming, in making ICT a means of ma'roof and not an instrument of munkar, and not an instrument of denying God, and not an instrument of becoming God, uh, as, as, uh, as uh, Yuval Harari envisages and the transhumanists uh, envisage. Uh, so uh, that's why, uh, by the grace of Allah, this is not my idea. This idea came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I presented to the university, alhamdulillah, uh, the rector accepted it. And now we have 13 clusters, or 12 now, uh, clusters, including one in ICT, led by Prof. Fauzan. So Prof. Fauzan and his uh, good wife uh, will be able to tell what they have uh, been working on and that they have already finished uh, 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 their part, uh, 50 page um, and more maybe uh, on how uh, ICT uh, is going to look like for the Muslim Ummah in Malaysia. In other words, we're not going to be consumers anymore. We're going to be producers by 2077, another 57 years. Is it not possible for, for Malaysian Ummah to become consumers, uh, sorry, to become producers of, of, uh, of ICT 57 years from now? 
uh, Prof Fauzan may not be around, but his children will, will take over, inshallah. So I want to end uh, with that uh, as a challenge for us, but at the same time, we should not be blind to the challenges coming from the secular world, because uh, even in Malaysia, we have secular groups um, and, and also maybe intellectuals and, and, and elites who are very much influenced by the secular worldview. So even in Malaysia, we have to face the secular challenges, but we have our own mission of uh, becoming shuhada ala nas, uh, uh, at least uh, by uh, uh, 2077, if not earlier. I wish by 2050, we could already be producers. And by 2030, we could provide some alternatives and some projects in 2030 to show that, that the Muslim Ummah can provide some better alternatives than what uh, the, the secular institutions can do. So I will stop there and I'm sorry, I've gone beyond the time, uh, Dr. Aznan uh, and others uh, in uh, uh, you know, um, uh, sharing this, uh, this program with us this afternoon. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. عليكم السلام ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. جزاك الله خيرا كثيرا to uh, uh, Prof uh, Kamal for sharing uh, his uh, insights with us. Uh, before I uh, proceed, uh, open for the question and answer, maybe just to mention a few points. Uh, Prof Kamal was mentioning about. Uh, uh, the uh, research on artificial intelligence. So uh, uh, we have, alhamdulillah, uh, a research unit called uh, computational uh, intelligence uh, in our kuliah. Uh, oh, sick. Uh, so computational uh, intelligence. Oh. Yeah, uh, involving uh, uh, our, some of our colleagues. Uh, and also uh, you were mentioning about uh, Prof. Riza now being in USIM, but uh, not to worry, Prof. Uh, he's a protege and uh, uh, the rest who are still at the KICT, uh, who are focusing on cybersecurity, inshallah, uh, will be able to take up the task, inshallah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, yeah. Alha that, that makes me very happy. Because when, when, when uh, I knew that uh, Prof. Rida was going uh, to USIM, oh my God, I said, oh, ini pinjam-pinjam, lepas tu terus tangkap terus. Yeah. But it's good and, uh, to know that his his protege and his murids are in the in the kulia. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Uh, you you mentioned about uh, uh, homo deus. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, before you know, uh, we have a, a, a deus ex machina, a god from the machine. And now it is homo okay. deus. Uh, uh, so yeah. yeah, that that just gives us uh, you know a, a a picture of what would be the challenges of the time to come. So. Uh, with that, I would like to invite you know uh, 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 any uh, of our Kula members who would like to have any any questions uh, with Prof. Maybe you can introduce uh, yourself and also uh, for the sake of time, you know, uh, to be, make it brief so that we can have uh, others uh, uh, to have their questions as well. So for Tafadol, uh, for anyone who has questions, you can ask directly or maybe in the chat as well. Assalamualaikum. Alaikum salam, Prof. Auzan. Okay, uh, I have uh, one extra information to additional information. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm another happy you said information. No, I don't I want a question from you. Another one is just a question. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> additional information uh, uh, during the planning uh, of the Kulia City, um, we have uh, three departments actually. One yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, department library information science, where Dr. Bakri is the head. Then I'm uh, from I'm from uh, the Kulia of Economic, where we have Department of MIS, yeah. and we have uh, before that we don't have even uh, I'm joining Kulia Economic with uh, uh, the two department of BBA. But when I came back from uh, United uh, UK, I joining uh, I'm the first head department of BMIS Bachelor of Management Information System in Kulia Economics. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is uh, yes. under uh, Prof Azmi that time. He's the team okay. of Kula Economic. So that time, oh. I think uh, I thought under... you were from. I thought you were from the Department of Communication. No, no, no. no. He's under. Uh, I'm the recruited in the Kula Economic in a business. Oh. Then the, um, I think you instructed Dr Jamal 
uh, establish the Kulia of ICT. Then we uh, also talk to Prof Faris, uh, whether they want to join us or not, because they have this uh, department of uh, comp uh, uh, this computer information engineering. Yeah. Uh, but then uh, Prof Faris, after three, four meetings, for Faris decided not to join because they don't want to lose their IR. <laughs> so, so this is, uh, we just start our Kulia City, year 2000, uh, uh, with two departments, one in charge of postgraduate, master level science, one is uh, under uh, RS, uh, Bachelor of MIS. And then uh, Prof, uh, one uh, story I want to add that, yeah. I still remember when joining uh, Kulia Economy, uh, uh, UIA in 1991, one fine uh, Zohor time, uh, the colleagues, uh, I think in 1991, the members uh, of Kulia said, Prof Kamal is uh, looking for you. You must be in trouble. So I really <laughs> worry because you don't know me. And they say it must be. Uh, you know, so I, there I tried to find you and we met uh, during Zohor time in uh, Faisal uh, uh, Hall when we come back. They say, I'm a Fawzan and so on. Oh, okay. Then I still remember the incident sparked you because Tuku Azman Sharifuddin uh, asked about how we're going to develop IT. Then he just uh, come across me because I asked a question. I always ask in the conference first question. So I asked, is, I think remember as a send off. Then for Azman said, Tuku Azman said, you have thousand. So that's why you are searching for me. Then I think that that, oh. time, that time I suggest that we should have a connection of internet because oh. uh, 1991 we don't have even internet in our kuliah, even uh. Uh, in our university, and we don't have our email. So our and then Prof Adam be recruited because we want to computerize the ANR. That's why Prof Adam recruited as his senior system analyst. I still remember way back uh, 1991 September 1991. Oh. Okay, and now my easy question. <laughs> my, my question to you, Prof, uh, uh. you said, uh, as and we know, the Yuval Noah Harari is a gay, and uh, he's uh, openly that uh, declare who his partner and so on, and he's a professor. My question to you, even the, during the hadith of uh, uh, when the, 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 the compilation of hadith, I am not can't remember, is it a Bukhari or Muslim, when they found out someone that tried to trick the, the what do you call it, uh, his uh, lamb or shepherd or goat, uh, but, uh, instead of giving the food, he tried to give a sound, it's not real food. Then the, this uh, Bukhari or Muslim decided not to take as a narrator because he don't believe as the uh, sahih of these uh, 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 narrators. So back to this uh, now, the concept of each information. How can we try or we just treat, read the, these two books or three books just for sake of information, but we cannot trust and we cannot guide or we cannot take this as our guidance? This is my question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yes, of course. Um, uh, I, um, uh, I feel that uh, we need, to, I mean, by we, I mean the, academics um, and IIUM, we should read uh, the three books uh, for knowledge, for information, not for uh, believing in those. Just as uh, I, this is the method of Imam Al-Ghazali in his Islamization uh, method. That is uh, before you can change uh, a system, you must understand what it is. So um, he wanted, he was very much against some aspects of Greek philosophy, which already had influenced a lot of the uh, intellectuals in Baghdad. Uh, many of them were, 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 were so proud that they knew so much of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates, and they were reading his books because the books were translated from Latin to Arabic. And um, so uh, Al-Ghazali knew there were some problems with this uh, uh, Greek philosophy. Uh, so he wanted to come, he wanted to counter uh, Greek philosophy. Now to counter, he said, I have to know it from A to Z. And he spent two years reading everything he could lay his hands, hands on about Greek philosophy. 
then when he got all that, then he wrote his book, Maqasid al falasifa which is regarded by many philosophers as, as a very good introduction to philosophy. All right. So, but his aim is not to promote Greek philosophy. With that, then, then he came up with his, with his gun to, to, to shoot at it with his tahafut al falasifa the um, the uh, tahafut, uh, the incoherence of, of, of the philosophers. So similarly in this case, um, uh, I was told by Prof. Ismawi uh, that, uh, that some people, some students uh, uh, seems to be influenced by, by the views of, of, uh, of uh, Harari. Then I told him, uh, Prof, uh, why don't you ask uh, some of our sisters in comparative religion like Kamar Onia and others, you know, to, 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 to talk about his books and then, uh, and then uh, or you yourself go and talk. Uh, he said, well, Prof, I don't have time for this, uh, uh, but I can buy you the books, he said. <laughs> and, and you do what you can do. He said, who am I? I am in the, you know, architecture and all that. Uh, this is a more philosophical, uh, uh, intellectual and all. So let other people do it. Let the three the, the three sisters uh, in in the kulia of uh, in the department Usuluddin do it. Then he sent me the books. Uh, so I have the books with me. Uh, and uh, together it's about one thousand five hundred pages. Mm. So I told him I I would like to to critique uh, Harari, uh, but I have to read all the books. And it's not just books. He has, I think, hundreds of interviews uh, on YouTube. He's still young, uh, 45 years old. Uh, 45. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, but I don't think he's, he's going to be straight. I mean, he will be gay, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and he doesn't believe in God. He makes fun, you know. So anyway, so he may be 45. And maybe by, the, by, by, by 60, some of his views might change, but I do not think it's going to be radical change uh, because, because he gets so much support. Imagine 20, 27 million of your books being read. You know, kita nak dapat seribu pun susah orang baca buku kita. Kan? Uh, prof punya buku ada, adalah lebih daripada seribu kot. Kan? Uh. Student, student, yes. <laughs> ah, tapi tu, one million uh, lagi lah lama. 27 million, Allah, forget it. Lah. So what we are saying is uh, one th two third of the world, if we say the Muslim world is one third, two third of the world can be influenced by just one man. Mm -hmm. I tengok dia punya interviews, the, the London, the, 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 many people attending and, and they were mem mesmerized. Jadi Tuhan bagi dia satu other intellectual brilliance, yes but not intellectual wisdom. Nah, kan? uh, jadi one of the ways, one of the issues yang kita sebut dulu, dulu the distinction between knowledge and information kan, has been blurred by ICT. Kan? Jadi what is uh, knowledge, um, is, is what, is, what is just information is promoted as knowledge. What is knowledge uh, is promoted as wisdom. Jadi dah semua dah confused. Anyway, so, um, what we uh, I I would like to find some people uh, because I want to form a webinar, uh, say by December or early next year, lah. Because for me to read one thousand five hundred pages, I have other things. Vision two zero seven seven is a, a big project of ours, and as a chief editor, I have to go through that. Once we get all the five hundred more pages, uh, then I have to go there and and. And this will take me the whole of, of the year, inshallah. So, but I want to, to, to write a review from Islamic perspective. And this is uh, one contribution of ours uh, in the future. And maybe some of your people in ICT can give some ideas if they read some aspects of ICT in Homo Deus or in the, this uh, 20, 21, 21 uh, lessons, 21 lessons. Uh, for the 21st century, uh, we have to not counter every one of them. So, um, but I hope we can do it. I hope 
Allah will give us the time, the energy. Uh, for I already identified some people who can uh, do a good job uh, in this, so that uh, our our own students jangan terpengaruh lah. And don't be surprised, budak-budak kita ni ada yang terpengaruh. Uh, macam gay, LGBT kan, they are, some of them are for it. So itulah uh, my, my, uh, my simple response to your very good question. Okay, and other, other, other questions or other information that you want uh, to... Assalamu alaikum, Prof. Alaikum salam, Tullah Bukatu. Prof, if I can uh, just ask a simple question in... Uh... Ah, Dr. Akram. Yeah, how are you, Prof? Alhamdulillah. Uh, prof, in, Alhamdulillah. Prof, in our uh, kulliya and other uh, science and technology kulliya in IIUM, until now, we accept thesis in English only. Do you think that science and technology kulliyas may accept more than, uh, I mean, other languages as well, besides English? Why not? The question is, do we have enough people uh, to um, uh, to to really uh, be the supervisors in in the Arabic? Uh, I think in Arabic should not be, because Arabic is our official language with English. Uh, the, the the point is that um, uh, we do not want um, uh, English to be overshadowed by Arabic. Neither should Arabic be overshadowed. Uh, by uh, by English because each has its own role. So in the kulia of let's say uh, KICT, uh, maybe there may be some Arab students who prefer to write thesis in Arabic. I think we should consider that. And if there's that you have people who can do that, why not? Because the person is more fluent uh, in in Arabic, but does not mean that uh, he has been taking courses. In Arabic, he has to take the courses in English because KICT teaches in English. But the Arabic thesis can be a good source of uh, Islamization in the Arab countries. A PhD work based on Islamic perspective, min manzur uh, islami, will be highly valued in the Arab world. So this is one way of helping uh, Islamization uh, in the Arab world, why not? So I I, I can agree to that. Mm. Uh, Prof, we have a uh, uh, we have a question uh, from uh, Dr. Rizal. Uh, so his question is: As we replace human both in function and thought, what do you think? Uh, what do you think KICT should consider when building artificial intelligence or robotics? Should we consider <laughs> making our AI and robotics to mimic Islamic morality? Yeah, I, I, I said, for instance, um, you can get instant fatwa from the robot. Yeah? Instant fatwa. You can get a collection of all the fatwas, maybe in different languages. If, if your robot can speak uh, uh, five languages, that would be good. So you can have fatwa in Malay, Indonesian, uh, Urdu, Turkish, Persian Arabic, um, that will be good. Um, then um, uh, maybe you can, uh, you can, uh, the books uh, that, that your robots uh, uh, may be able to read and then analyze and, uh, and summarize uh, in the future. So uh, yeah, so this, uh, this uh, uh, robotic uh, scholars, uh, robotic Islamic scholars, <laughs> Uh, could be uh, another product of uh, KICT by 2040 <laughs> or 2050. <laughs> uh, and then you can have the dean to be a robot also. In 2060, the dean of KICT will be a robot. Uh, okay, bro, we have a question from uh, Prof. Rosina. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Prof. Uh, Roslina, yeah. the the better the better half of Fauzan. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, Prof. And my colleagues at KICT. Yeah. Uh, indeed, uh, I've learned a lot uh, from uh, Prof. Dato. Dr. Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman, and also yeah. from you, Tan Sri. Yeah, I remember. Call me Prof. I... No Tan Sri. Yeah. <laughs> Prof. Kamal Hassan. Yes. Ah, uh, Prof. Kamal Hassan. Yes. Yes, I came. 
And yes, my concern is that uh, because in the case of uh, Harari, actually, uh, in fact, he's a professor in history, and that means he has excellent knowledge in history, as of history in the history, and also history of a subject matter. So, Prof, do you think that uh, it would be good to, like, you know, we in ICT should also be well versed in the history of ICT in addition to our knowledge of the technology itself? Because I'm very confident that even Imam Al Ghazali is well aware the historical part of the uh, philosophy, the point where philosophers have gone astray. Uh, from the yeah. real knowledge of philosophy. So really need your, your opinion, Prof. Thank you. Oh, okay, why not? I think uh, if uh, the way I see KICT is, is going to be the leading kulia uh, in the future, as far as Islamic perspective is concerned. And uh, history uh, of uh, ICT has to be part of the curriculum. Uh, but of, I do not know how many people want to be historians of uh, ICT, but, but you know, you could have a person like Harari, who is a historian and now is becoming, uh, you might say, a public intellectual number one in the West for, for some time. Uh, of course, he has, he has a 15-man office to help him, and he has his uh, husband as a manager. <laughs> he calls my husband. Uh, so, um, so, yeah. So we have to think of how uh, we can, uh, but of course, one thing is, I was thinking, in fact, if I, when I, when we write, because when, with, as a result of the webinar that I'm planning by December or next year, we can come up with a book from the review. Uh, and, and one is uh, history as seen by Harari and history as seen by us. It's not the same. Uh, we see things from a, a theological perspective and, 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 and um, uh, theocentric perspective, the way Allah wants us to see history. So history is a battle between al-haq wal batil you know? But for him, history is a development of the apes to, uh, to a computerized human being. So it's a linear history. There's nothing metaphysical there. Uh, but for us, history is a struggle between al-haq al batil between al-iman wal kufr between Allah wa taghut between al-malaika wa shaitan So uh, yeah, we could have our own perspective of history. Rather than what I'm afraid is, is uh, uh, more than half of the world is going to understand history from Harari's point of view. So it's basically, is the evolution of the apes. Okay, so uh, yes, thank you very much, uh, Prof. Oslina. Yeah, uh, thank you, Prof. Hina, for the question. Uh, okay. uh, just now, Prof. Kamal mentioned about the uh, future dean of KICT could be a robot. Uh, I forgot to highlight to you, Prof. Our present dean is uh, one of the pioneer students of our university, uh, Prof. Abdul Rahman Ahlan. Uh, yeah, I remember so... him. <laughs> I remember him, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Are there any other questions? Uh, can I, can I have something here? Ah, yes. Dr. Abdul Rahman Ahlan, Ahlan, wa Sahlan. Good nice to, to see you see and you. see you, uh, Prof. Uh, nice to see you. Yeah, um, I think the, the project that you mentioned about uh, uh, 2077 vision, Yeah, uh, I think it's very important because uh, I think, uh, as you have mentioned, that we, we need to start now to develop uh, you know, a generation. So it takes a generation to reach that. Correct. So maybe uh, by that time, you know, in the next 50 years, uh, that this generation will become mature and it will be the one you know, functioning in the society and leading, you know, uh, uh, the world in trying to change things. Uh, so for us, uh, yeah. we probably have to do our parts now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even though, uh, and probably leave behind legacies. That, <laughs> yeah, inshallah. Yeah. No, the, the, your, your cluster, which is led by Prof. Fauzan, 
that that is uh, the seed of the future. Uh, we're, we're talking about the Muslim Ummah in Malaysia, but we hope other countries, other Muslim countries will be inspired to also do what we are trying to do now, inshallah. So in, in relation to the uh, Islamic, uh, the IAM Islamization uh, policies, uh, which is uh, produced in booklet, uh, there's a mention about, you know, the necessities, uh, yeah. you know, the, the yeah. different level of necessities. So yeah. maybe you can give us some uh, highlights or insights into uh, what kind of uh, projects that we can, we can do as a kulia. Uh, to address some of the necessities. Uh, for oh, okay. Thank you very much, uh, Prof. You know, uh, I, I divided the category into four categories yeah, of, of necessities, um, low necessity and then medium and then high and the highest necessity. And the highest is always collaborative uh, because no one person, uh, because the highest is to reconstruct knowledge. Uh, Lower than that is adaptation. What, what we are doing in many, parts of, in many parts of the world, in the Muslim world, is adaptation. We take parts of, uh, of Western knowledge and then parts of it we, we Islamize, but we are not producing a new knowledge, a new tree. Pokok yang baru. Kita cantas-cantas, kita do bad grafting. Yeah? Kita tahu cabang Islam kepada tiang yang bukan Islamic. Yeah? Uh, and, and we call that integration, kan? Kita uh, kata Islamization, integration. Tapi that is uh, that to me is uh, still not the highest necessity lah. The highest necessity is what Al Ghazali did, come out with his own view of philosophy, uh, the critique of philosophy that could be the second level of necessity. So you need to do critique. Uh, yes, and, and that critique, that's not part of, that's not integration. Uh, critique is Islamization. Yeah, so kita, jangan kita um, apa, just uh, agree for integration sahaja. To me, integration is a branch of Islamization. Islamization tu ada banyak branchesnya. Sebagaimana iman tu ada lebih pada 70, 70 cabang iman tu. Yang paling tinggi ialah uh, syahadah. Yang paling rendah itu me mengalihkan apa tu uh, duri daripada jalan. Iman juga. So Islam pun macam tu juga. Uh, yang highest tu buat satu cabang ilmu uh, tumbuhkan satu pokok ilmu yang baru. Kan? Uh, so uh, and that that requires the meeting of minds of experts. Tak boleh satu orang. Yeah? Uh, so, selama ini yang kita ada satu orang. Kita ada Profesor Naqib al Atas satu orang. Kita ada Ismail Faruqi, satu orang. Kita ada Taha Jabir, satu orang. Tapi uh, Taha Jabir, triple IT ini more, more collaborative. So, dia, dia start dengan satu, satu kumpulan. Begitu, kan? Uh, so, but still, they came out with the pioneering books lah, buku-buku asas tentang kenapa perlunya Islamisasi, justification for Islamization. Tetapi melahirkan suatu suatu badan ilmu tersendiri itu tak banyak lagi dibuat. Dan for that we hope, insya Allah, that your kuliah can also think of. Uh, the fourth level necessity. Uh, uh, so may, maybe uh, the, the 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 Islamic robot is one like a, <laughs> the, the, uh, the dean of the Kulia Ganti, Prof Aslam, would be a, uh, Prof Allah would be a robot. <laughs> that was something new. <laughs> anyway, so just joking like a, but I'm sure you can think of. Just like medicine, much like psychology now, uh, with the help of our banyak psychologists now going for Islamic psychology, then uh, some aspects of modern psychology can be completely new. Jadi, tapi itulah completely new. Banyak sekarang ini ialah adaptation, yeah, integration, adaptation. 
uh, adjustment. Uh, itu that I call Islamization. Yeah? Uh, tapi uh, the the final, the highest is producing our own uh, systems. Insha'Allah. Yeah, brother Akim Olowaleyano, uh, where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Nigeria, bro. <laughs> Mashallah, you are in Nigeria now? No, 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 no. I'm in Gomba. Uh, uh, oh, you're in Gomba. Okay. Are you teaching in KICT? Yes, bro. Okay. What do you teach? Uh, I teach um, um, data science and AI courses, uh, but uh, presently I teach uh, linear algebra. So. Oh. <laughs> Uh, but I want to comment on the pro, uh, the your 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 suggestion. May Allah reward you. Uh, the I have a proposal. I've written it for the past two years. I've been submitting for my grant. So, but it has not scaled through. I hope this time around it scales through. Uh, by the by, by the time the results are out, actually the the thought is along your suggestion. Uh, okay, so the, the, the proposal is about uh, a system, uh, like an AI system that can understand a person and know what advice to give. For example, if uh, actually I was targeting mm. uh, people with loneliness, people with depression and so on. So it will come with um, uh, mm. uh, uh, Quranic verses, um, hadiths, suggestions from scholars and so on to be able to counsel uh, advice like a like a personal assistant. If people, uh, if somebody is wasting too much time, you could advise them on how to use their time more effectively. Uh, in every morning when they wake up, it gives them advice on on what they should do today. It, it gives them their schedule, advise them on how to manage their time, and to be more. Uh, uh, I mean, focus on productive things. So, based on what you said, I think. Uh, we can actually expand it more and, and then see how it goes from there. But presently, I write proposal for the grant. I, I hope, inshallah, that it is accepted. So I just want to say yeah, that, that... That's that a good idea, but I think you, you need to work uh, with a team because it is interdisciplinary. Yes, yes. You, know? uh, you need people from faith, you need people from psychology, you need people from sociology, uh, uh, medicine, psychiatry. Uh, robotics, AI, so it's a team. Uh, yes. So you have to go for a very big budget. Uh, <laughs> the problem is how to compete uh, for the for the budget from the ministry. And uh, Islamic uh, Islamic uh, oriented objectives are not highly prioritized at the ministry. Yes. Uh, they are looking more for how you make money for the country. So if you can produce a robot that can uh, 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 make money out of, uh, uh, out of paper, uh, then they will give you the money. But anyway, <laughs> you can try. <laughs> but I think it's a good idea. Another issue I was thinking uh, is pornography. We don't talk about pornography because we, we are not really, uh, you know, we don't go for pornography. But in, in the West, pornography is a very, very serious addiction is comparable to the uh, drug addicts. And there are people who cannot get out of pornography. Pornography is a disease. And uh, so, but uh, don't think that Muslim youth and Muslim adults are not, some of them might be addicted, but we don't know because they won't tell because they know this is haram. But in the West, uh, there's nothing like haram. To them, it's just a, a medical problem. So, uh, and for some, some uh, sexologists would even encourage you to go for pornography. This is one way to get over your, your you know, your depressions and so on. So, but for us, uh, we have our own perspective, our own uh, rulings on, on pornography. So how could you also have uh, programmed this uh, in the robot or, or in a, some uh, computer application doesn't have to be a robot. It could be a website that people can go to to overcome uh, their uh, serious uh, pornographic uh, addiction. Uh, and with uh, with a website which is uh, anonymous, uh, that might uh, and might be cheaper uh, rather than having a robot. Anyway, but just to think of just to add one.
problem that is uh, really a, a problem in the West uh, because it is sex saturated society. Alhamdulillah, in our the Muslim world is not sex saturated. It's saturated with with uh, with with jealousy, with 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 rivalry, with uh, uh, materialism, with egoism, but uh, not so much uh, uh, pornography. So just uh, just supporting your idea. Uh, yeah, well, actually, that is part of it, but I don't want to. I didn't want to mention it directly. I said, uh, like, like. I no, it's better we mention it because uh, <laughs> it is a reality that uh, uh, that we try to 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 hide. Uh, we yeah. better what uh, some of the problems uh, with the with the internet, with the handphone. Now everything is at our fingertips. Now the question is, how can we prevent our young people, the children? from falling into the traps of pornography. Yes. Actually, the, the system, the plan is it can monitor their online activities and based oh. on that, be, okay, able that's to, good. be able to advise them on how to use yeah. their time very well. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. Okay, most welcome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, for information from Dr. Akim uh, uh, was our former PhD student uh, before joining us uh, as our academic uh, staff. Alhamdulillah, okay. alhamdulillah. But he needs a lot of uh, a group to 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 get that proposal, you know, approved, and and and, and a big amount of money. Yeah. Okay, so maybe if uh, we have uh, one last question. Yeah, one last uh, question. Okay. Uh, from anyone <laughs> uh, would like to you know uh, proceed to our our prof. Now, if if not yes, question, any? they can also be. Sharing information also. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, anyone? Tak ada lah kot. They are gone for tea. Okay, Prof. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, we had a, a very uh, a wonderful uh, session with you. Uh, for our uh, members of our kuliah, uh, this is uh, an an uh, uh, an exclusive uh, session for only for KICT members, Prof. Alhamdulillah. Uh, so we, we did not <laughs> open yeah, yeah. it to other because we would like you know to uh, have uh, okay. uh, or to focus eh, uh, from what you would like to say to us. And this is also right. in conjunction with our uh, takrim uh, program at the uh, kuliah level. Uh, oh. Yeah. I see. Okay, that's yes. good. Yeah. So throughout the month, we had uh, many, many sessions on many topics. And uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, for this afternoon, we have a session with you. Uh, okay. So, uh, inshallah, uh, if uh, there are uh, no other questions, uh, before we end uh, our uh, uh, session for today, uh, maybe if we could have uh, a photo session. So, for oh, those right. of you uh, who would like to turn on your camera, okay, uh, you can get ready. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, for uh, any of our other members who are here. Uh, okay. So I'll give maybe one or two minutes. Uh, Prof. Roslina. Uh, Doctor Nurul Nuha. We are uh, uh, not easy yeah, to get Prof. Alhamdulillah. Uh, actually, <laughs> uh, uh, just to tell you, Prof, I was I, I personally was uh, contemplating and thinking of having this session with you since last year. So, oh, Alhamdulillah, uh, uh, today, <laughs> uh, you know, as uh, you know, uh, part of our Islamization program. Okay. Uh, our, uh, Alhamdulillah. Okay. Right. So but, I think everybody is yeah. uh, ready. Okay. Okay. Uh, Fine. Uh, Sorry, give me one moment. <laughs> okay. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, one second. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, another one. Okay. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay, uh, so 
uh, with that, uh, again, uh, we would like to, on behalf of the Kulev, we would like to express our uh, gratitude uh, to uh, Prof Kamal for his willingness uh, to be with us uh, this afternoon. It's my pleasure. Uh, uh, to share with us, you know, his, uh, his words of wisdom and advice. So, inshallah, sure. uh, it will uh, be something that we can, uh, as the Kulev, take with us uh, to move forward. Uh, for the next uh, 20 years or 30 years. Uh, next 57 uh, years. Next 57 years. Yeah, until 2077, <laughs> inshallah. <laughs> uh, uh, so with that, uh, alhamdulillah, uh, let us uh, end our uh, session with the recitation of uh, Tasbih Kafara and Surah Al-Asr. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashahadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان ما في خصم إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Aznan. It's really my pleasure and my honor uh, to be invited and to speak uh, to some of our colleagues. May Allah bless the kulia. May Allah take the kulia to greater heights in the future and be the leader and the producer. Uh, rather than a consumer by, say, 2050 or even earlier, inshallah. Okay. Allah, I, yeah. uh, also, yeah. uh, uh, thank you also to the uh, committee for, uh, of the uh, Kulia Takrim program as well uh, okay. in organizing this, uh, 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 managing the session. And thank you again, Prof, uh, for your time and for your uh, words of wisdom for us. I mean, I mean thank you very much. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum, Assalamualaikum Prof. Ya, Cikgu Halim kena intubate. Saya tahu, kata, but kata ada improvement. Hari ini 40 dah dapat mesej dekat Isah kena intubate. Ya, ya, Ya ke? Dia sembuh balik, boleh uh, oh. boleh WhatsApp dan sebagainya, then come back to us. Saya, ialah saya berdoa untuk dia dan juga untuk Dr. Siddiq Fadil, yeah, Siddiq. Dr. untuk Tun Ahmad Sarji. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dr. Siddiq macam mana? Uh, dah, dengar kata dah masuk wad biasa daripada ICU, dah masuk wad biasa. Wad biasa lah Dr. Siddiq? Wad biasa, ya. Yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Tapi dia bukan COVID kan? Dia bukan. Dia uh. tu dia punya apa? Ya punya sakit kulit tu nama apa? Ah ya lah. Please uh, kalau you convey kepada anak dia supaya yeah. anak dia convey kepada Dr. Siddiq salam saya dengan Kak Norma lah pada dia yeah. ya. Insyaallah. Insyaallah. Dan kepada Cikgu Halim juga. Ya yeah, insyaallah. Insyaallah. Ah. Okay then. Okay, assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam, tullah berkatu. Terima kasih, Prof. Assalamualaikum. Hey, Waalaikumsalam, Dr. Abdurrahman. <laughs> Thank you very much. Allahu Akbar. How old are you now, Dr. Abdurrahman? Uh, 55 this year. Yes, I ah, celebrated. Lambat <laughs> lagi lah. Lambat lagi lah. 6 tahun lagi lah. Okay. Allah. Yeah. Make doa, Prof. <laughs> Sama-sama lah. Sama doa untuk kita juga. Yeah. Yeah. Sayang, Dr. Abdul Hamid tak sempat agaknya visit the kuliah. Ya. Okay, baik. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.